Wagwan fam, this is Tessellated, representing for the Daily Herald. You don't know, I'll be out at the St. Martin Heineken Regatta in a couple of weeks, beginning of March. So, I'm going to answer a couple of questions, make you guys know a little bit more about me before I perform for you. You have been called one of the most vibrant and fresh young artists. How did it all start? How did you become involved in music? Um, so I've already been doing music from an early age. I started first playing instruments. I started with drums when I was about five years old. Um, and from that time, you know, I've been in and out of it. I was more a hobby at first. Um, but when I was about 16 years old, I started taking production more seriously and started really delving into that. And when I left high school when I was 18, I decided that music is what I wanted to do full time. So I went to music school, started pursuing that. Um, I worked at a studio, XYZ. Um, and then eventually, you know, so I got picked up by Warner Brothers and started getting more opportunities. So I moved out to Los Angeles. And since then, I've just been pursuing music full time, production, writing, performance. What inspires you to continue making music? What or who are your influences? Who did you grow up listening to? So, you know, I gain inspiration from everything. And if you just look around, like life is the greatest inspiration. I also listen, same thing, to a lot of different musicians and other people's creations inspire me to create even more. So I grew up, you know, listening to a lot of old school musicians, you know, a lot of the, the reggae greats for sure. Obviously, you're gonna have Bobby, you have the Dennis Brown, Freddie McGregor, Alton Ellis, all those people. But also a lot of, you know, different people from R&B, you have Seal, you don't know Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, all of those type of guys. So we really have influences from all over the place um, who have helped to craft the song that I have nowadays. Do you play any instruments? If so, what and when did you learn to play them? So I'm kind of a jack of all trades when it comes to instruments. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a master at any one instrument, but you know, I've, I've played, as I started with drums, I play a bit of drums, piano, guitar. I used to be in a steel pan orchestra. I play a bit of saxophone. And just recently I've picked up trumpet also. And he's just been over the years at different time periods. What if I'm interested in, I can just pick it up and figure it out. Your music has been described as a fusion of many different genres. What is your process? A process is interesting. I couldn't say it's um, one specific thing. Uh, it's more a thing where I, the ideas come to me in my head and I form up a lot of the structure and patterns in my head and then I just lay them down piece by piece. So given that I was a producer before I started writing, I tend to start with the beat first. Um, I have ideas for a beat or I have a beat I already made beforehand and once that's fully formed, I gain inspiration for lyrics from the music of the rhythm um, and flesh it out that way. What has been your favorite musical collaboration thus far? Who have you worked with and who is still on your collaboration wish list? So, my favorite so far is actually one that hasn't released yet. Uh, with one of my favorite um, musicians or someone who's also a big inspiration to me. I'm gonna have to keep that one a secret um, for right now. But overall, I really just love working with my friends, you know, uh, working with people that you know I've seen grow um, and I've seen develop just as I've developed. And for us to be able to come together and create something that has really come from a, a period of time of development and really hard work towards the music to, to see the fruits of that, especially when it's people I'm close with, is, is my favorite thing. What has been your most memorable moment on stage so far? On Why stage. and what happened? I think, honestly, my most memorable moment to this day was really my first performance. So at this point, I, I didn't really, I hadn't done anything live before. I never put on a show. Um, and this was a last minute thing that was organized by New Wave, you know, Big Up Stammer, Big Up Lindsay. Um, and they, you know, I come, I didn't really expect that many people to show up, but the place was rammed out. 
And when I started singing songs, everyone was singing along with the lyrics. And I was like, oh, this is crazy. And this is the first time. Like, it's one thing to see numbers online and see people are listening to things. But when people actually come out of their house and you see them in front of you and they're reacting to the music and you can feel the energy, that was still like the most crazy moment. Because when my mentality kind of shifted, I realized like, oh, damn. I'm really doing this thing like people are really out here. <laughs> is this your first time to St. Martin? Yes, it is. I'm very excited. Oh wait, sorry bro. Okay. <laughs> what, is this your fa first ever time in St. Martin? What would you like to say to those coming to see you for the first time? And what would you like to say to those who listen to your music regularly like me? What can persons expect from you next month? So it's, the, it's my first time. I'm really excited. You know, I'm really excited to, to bring to the people, you know, what I have. Just know for people who are coming to see me for the first time, I'm gonna put on the best show that I can. And those that listen to the music, um, I'm hoping to live up to the expectations of the recorded music and give you guys something that's even more memorable, more energetic, with more feeling. Plus, you guys are going to get to hear a lot of my new music that will be coming out in the next few weeks for the first time before anybody else. So, it's going to be great. Make sure you guys come out. Whether you know the music, whether you don't know the music yet, I promise you, it's going to be an experience.